Hello YouTube, uh, another video from me. It's actually the one I was planning on doing um, yesterday evening, but I got too tired. Um, so yeah, this is a, a sort of a a video response to the not quite challenge in Abbey Normal One's last video um, about how we we think or. or where we think we'll, our lives will be in five years' time. Um, for me, my viewpoint is kind of an odd mix. Um, I feel a little bit like I've hit a sort of crossroads in my life. Um, and so in some ways I'm quite optimistic, and in some ways I'm quite pessimistic. Um, and in some ways... I don't know, I've, I've lost a lot of the certainty I had in where I want my life to be going. Um, I used to have quite clearly defined plans for where I wanted to, to go at each stage. Um, and gradually they've been sort of eroded away. Um, though often in quite a good way. Um, one or two of, of my very good friends and my girlfriend as well, has been kind of pushing me to, to think, I don't know, less practically, I guess, um, and be more prepared to, to sacrifice potentially some of the, the comforts of thinking practically for um, more a, a, a desire to follow my desires, really, uh, to really try and... and be less willing to compromise the things I, I am really passionate about, really interested in. Um, so, to that end, I guess out of the window a while back went the idea of doing anything more with maths once I've once I've done this degree. Um, and I really would like to do something something with poetry. Um, whether I'm good enough or disciplined enough, which I suspect is is more of a of a problem. Um, I mean, I, I'm not sure the question of being good enough necessarily has any meaning, given that most art is kind of subjective. Um, so yeah, there there will be people to to whom my poetry is appealing, and there will be people to whom it is not appealing, um, and I kind of accept that. My bigger issue, I think, is whether I can be disciplined enough about writing regularly and forming the contacts and, and, and this sort of thing to actually just be a poet. But that is, I think, something I'm going to push much more strongly for um, after university. And in the meantime, I'm just going to try and, and well, and as I as I sort of have been, I'm going to try and just keep writing w whenever I have inspiration or um, an, I I an idea of, of some sort. Um, if I don't become a poet, uh, then some sort of writer. That yeah, that's definitely the direction I I, I can see myself moving in. Be it writing for a magazine or something, or. You know, writing short stories or, or something, um, but I think I have a need to, to express myself in some way creatively, um, and I find that the, the more stuff I'm doing that doesn't involve that, the more it kind of drains me of, of any sort of creative energy, um, which is, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but I just find if I've been in maths lectures all day, I come home in, in the evening and I don't have any any creative inspiration, which is silly because it's not a, an effort or an energy thing. There's no reason why you can't suddenly have a creative idea when you're still quite tired. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, I, f I feel like the moment maths is kind of weighing quite heavily on a, on a negative side of my creative ledger. Um, and I think most jobs would. Um, I really can't see myself in an office environment, particularly, because um, I think it would remind me too much of school, 
and and the ridiculous arbit arbitrary rules um, that are, that are forced upon people. That said, if my financial situation dictated that I had to get some sort of office job or anything like that, I believe I could stick it out. I, I believe I do have the the necessary willpower um, to do that if I had to. Um, yeah, so that's sort of that side of things. Um, what that means as a negative is that probably I won't be living um, quite the luxurious life I would like to. Maybe I won't get to do as much travelling as I'd like to, but we'll we'll see. It is always you know, possible to do travelling on a low budget, particularly as the world gets smaller and smaller with um, stuff like couch surfing. You know, these days, realistically, all you need to travel is is some means of transport, which is fine. I'll I'll have a car, um, and that's really it. You, know, you can you can talk to people on the internet and go and meet up with them uh, pretty much anywhere in the world now. So, and I think that's a wonderful wonderful advantage that that particularly my generation has more than any previous generation has had this ability for the the world to be this this tiny blob um, that suddenly you know, th there isn't such a thing as as unexplorably far away um, and I think that will just get easier and easier as time goes on as technology improves so we'll see about that um, I hope I will be married in five years' time, and I certainly know someone that will, will be will be rather cross if if I'm not. Um, though I don't think I'll have kids yet. I don't intend to that early on in my life. Um, yeah, I hope I'm still me. I hope I'm still. Um, I don't know. The slightly grumpy, scruffy-looking, long-haired, beardy oik that that I am today, at least in in spirit. Um, I don't like the idea of kind of I I hate I hate the expression selling out because that sounds so sort of pathetic teenage type. But yeah, I I don't know another way to put it. Um, I hate the idea of, of buying in solely to a life of, of convenience at, at the expense of my ideals. I don't mind it if my ideals do change, um, though I hope they change logically and, and with reason, uh, if they do have to. But I hate the idea of having ideals and not really thinking about them, and not trying to act on them in some small way. Um, which is kind of weird for me to say because I, I would guess I, as a general trend in my life um, for at least whilst I can remember I would have to say I'm fairly fundamentally dissatisfied with the way I am um, much to the annoyance of the people that, that care about me um, I don't have very high self-esteem or self-confidence but actually sort of thinking about it in terms of where I want to be in five years time I hope I don't change that much, which is actually quite a nice thing to discover, I guess. Um, so that's that's that. Um, the only other thing I wanted to do in this video is, on a sort of related note, I've managed to write my first poem in two weeks or two and a half weeks or something. So I wanted to do another of my now world famous, I assume, poetry readings. So. Um, it's inspired by the mating ritual of the anglerfish, and it's simply called Anglerfish. Alone, empty and incomplete, drifting through darkness, driven to fill this hole within, I chase ghosts, the scent of your companionship, a trail from where you aren't to where you are. We meet, connect and bind, gradually stripped of all separation, all division removed by this encounter. We merge and become one as my heart melts into you. This love castrates me of identity, devours all of my being as I disappear into you. 
Soon you do not even notice I ever was, and drift on tides I shall never feel towards other loves in other futures. So, um, I hope to see some of your videos on on the five years time theme, um, and thank you for listening. Good night, YouTube.